Did y'all hear about that sassy truck driver? That female sassy truck driver who just raised her voice at the rental car agent? They fucked her ass up! YouTube, YouTube, what is going on? I'm your host, Runaway Child, and I'm back at y'all with another one. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, take the opportunity right now. Go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed to the channel, hey, throw a like on this video. A like don't cost you anything to throw on this video. It is for free. So please show your boy some love. But anyhow, I know this is a story today that I got for y'all. So y'all ain't got to get in the comment section saying, oh, we done seen this or I already know about it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You don't bash me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just bringing you some updates for some people who may not have seen it or whatever you know what i'm saying so this is a young lady from houston texas she went out to dubai she raised her voice at a rental car company and she wound up getting arrested well she's a popular tiktok influencer she has like 180k followers and i mean she was just doing her thing you know what i'm saying and she wound up finding herself in, in a situation they also said that she was going to be the first female truck driver to drive in dubai so I don't know what happened with that. I've been trying to find some backstory. I've been trying to find some updates. I really can't find anything. So if y'all know of her, if y'all know, her name is uh, Tiara Young Allen. That's her name, Tiara Young Allen. So if y'all know of her, if y'all know of her uh, social medias and anything like that, drop it in the comment section. I want to reach out to her and try to get her over here on Flat Truck and to have her to give us a backstory to it and to give us an update as well. So, but anyhow, I ain't gonna talk y'all head off. Y'all know the routine. Like comment make sure you comment get us in the algorithm because we're trying to get to that 1k i need y'all to help run us up to that 1k flat truckers get on your job do what you need to do send this out to some people and let's get into the video the influencer known as the sassy trucker but she's back home after months stuck in dubai just for raising her voice you know if somebody come at you over here you coming back you get loud with me, I'm gonna get loud with you. But over there in the body, I'll play that shit. Baby, listen. From what I'm hearing, she was a passenger on her friend girl's, in her friend girl's rental car. They got into a little collision and she forgot like her ID or something in the rental car. Went to the place. So her and the agent got into it. They got loud with her and she got loud back with them. But now they're saying she's locked up for raising her voice. And they just talking about just her they got on videotape. They talking about prison time. Dubai, y'all beautiful and shit. But y'all ain't worth all that. Because I'm going to raise my voice. If you raise your voice at me. But you know what? I don't think we should go over there, ladies, by ourselves. But with these men today, they won't be much help. But anyway, I'm crossing Dubai off my visiting list. It was very scary for me because I didn't know at times if I was going to face jail time or go to prison. I was also told I might be the first female truck driver to ever drive a truck in Dubai. The 29-year-old with a fan base of more than 180,000 TikTok followers documenting her life as a trucker and showing her travels across the world. I am here in Dubai about to test drive this truck. She says she was banned from leaving the United Arab Emirates following a dispute at a rental car agency after an accident while on vacation in May. The car allegedly impounded with her passport and credit cards inside. When she went to retrieve her belongings, she says she was told to pay a fee. From there, things kind of just transpired into something really big that I wasn't expected. She tells us things escalated between her and an employee at the rental car company. He followed me outside and told me he was calling the cops on me for shouting at him. And I said, okay, you can call the cops. Days later, she says she was arrested and held in jail for one day for shouting at the employee, which the UAE has strict rules against. 
I was shocked, I was nervous, I was scared, I didn't know what to do. The influencer spending the next three months in a hotel while her family and Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee worked to help clear the travel ban. The State Department is used to be able to help Americans make their way through these different rules. But as a woman, she was treated differently. Tierra's mom ultimately paying $1,360 to get her daughter's passport back. I felt like there was hope finally that my daughter would return home. It feels absolutely amazing. I enjoy the freedom. I appreciate all the hard work everyone's done for me and I'm very excited to be back in the USA. The Dubai police did release a statement saying in part they received a complaint from a rental car company about Miss Ann, Miss Allen slandering and defaming one of their employees, but she was subsequently released pending legal proceedings between her and that company. The good news is, guys, right now neither the State Department nor Miss Allen, the sassy trucker, or her family believe that there are any pending criminal charges. Now back home in Houston. Welcome home. <laughs> and speaking out after being held in Dubai for months. They just stripped me of my passport. I couldn't go anywhere. All I want to say is, hey, I'm glad that you're back home, sassy trucker or Tierra. I'm glad you're home. I mean, I don't think you should have been locked up for months for yelling at someone. I mean, you guys just make sure y'all doing y'all homework before y'all traveling out of the country to these different uh, countries and stuff like that. and. You know, when your passport and stuff got to get involved and your ID and all of that stuff, you got to make sure you know their laws and what they go by and their standards and all of that stuff. You know, this could have went a whole lot worse than what it actually was, but I've been hearing that, you know, they do these type of things in these places to try to extort money out of people. You know, they'll withhold your passport and withhold your ID and say, oh, we need ten, twenty thousand $20,000 before you can get it back. You know, so this type of stuff happens. It's, it's, it's occurring more and more often nowadays. So just be careful. Make sure you take somebody with you, somebody who ready to get out like you ready to get out. And make sure you, I ain't saying that I'm not um, provoking violence or anything like that or whatever. That's not what I'm saying. But somebody who's willing to, you know, stick there with you and somebody who knows the law and somebody who knows what they're talking about and, and know how to handle these things. So, you know. Just make sure you pay attention to your surroundings. Make sure when you go out of town, you got all your checklists checked off and all of those type of things, you know. You don't want to get caught with your pants down and, hey. And, you know, it was a thing at one point where these females, they was taking trips to Dubai. And y'all know why y'all was taking trips to Dubai for that 40K. That 40K was getting you on, defecated. Yeah, y'all know. A lot of people out there, they know about it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Put it in the comment section. You know what I'm saying? But y'all comment and let me know what y'all, how y'all feel about this. Let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think that this was right? Was this wrong just for uh, raising your voice in public? I mean, rules are rules at the end of the day. And if you don't know them, you know, hey, that's kind of on you, you know. But if they have rules and boundaries set in place for things like this, I mean, you can't go over there and just break the rules and expect for you to be treated differently because you're from another country. So... But anyhow, y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, Runaway Child, and we are out.